good morning welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be learning cherry this morning I'm going to be at the yard for nine o'clock it is currently quarter to eight um so yeah I am quite tired but I shouldn't be because I went to bed at like just gone ten so I shouldn't be tired but I am I'm allowed and my eyes are really itchy this morning but you know what? We roll with that, we roll with that, it's fine, it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get some breakfast and get changed. So I'm going to go get changed and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing for the day. To be fair, it doesn't look too bad outside. Um, it looks a bit cloudy, but it's not like raining or, or anything. Which is good, good, because we don't want the rain. No rain. So I'm going to go ahead and get changed and show you my outfit. So guys, we're in the mirror, um, and I'm all dressed now. So what I'm wearing is this, so I'll give you an overview. That's what I'm wearing. So I have this black gilet from Primark. I actually really like it, like it's really flattering, and it looks really nice, and it doesn't sit too low, so it doesn't bunch up on the saddle, which is really, really nice. And then if I unzip it, hold on. <laughs> this is so like annoying, that unzip it. So you can see that I've got my Aztec diamond, base layer on my new navy one that I got for Christmas. I haven't actually worn it yet. So then it goes with my leggings. It's a slightly lighter colour, if you can tell, but it's fine. So I've got my Asset Diamond leggings on. These are the older ones, so not the new ones. And then, as you can see, I've got these sexy socks on. They're quite, they're really thick, like mega thick. I think they're actually from um, Sports Direct. If I remember, I got them ages ago, but they're like super, super thick. And because my boots are actually a bit big for me, they like they just help to fill out the boot a bit more, which is nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some breakfast. So guys, this is my dog. She's very, she's tired this morning. <laughs> she's so cute. She's being non-affectionate. She's very cute. Aren't you? Aren't you? You are, but you're very tired. Look at that little face. So tired, yes. She'll be waiting for my breakfast. So guys, as you can see, for my breakfast, I've literally just got Marmite on toast because I like Marmite, so yeah. So guys, I have eaten my breakfast now. Um, I'm basically all ready to go to the yard now. Like, we'll leave in 15 minutes. Um, I've literally not got anything else to do. My hand is shaking for some reason, so I'll just rest it on my knee because I am sat down. Um, I don't think I've really got much else to say. I've eaten my breakfast and everything. I've brushed my teeth, brushed my hair. There isn't a lot to say, so I guess I'll catch up with you guys when I am in the car. Hey guys, so I put up a poll on my Instagram and you guys wanted me to do a voiceover, so here I am. So at this point I was just checking the stirrups were even, and then this is me just warming up. We had walked around a few laps and done some circles and stuff, but here is me and Cherry just trotting around. I am wearing my Aztec Diamond Base Light and Leggings and Primark Gillet, as you would have seen with my Gatehouse hat and Mark Todd boots. We also match Terry's navy saddle pad as well. So here I am. I think I do a 20 meter circle here. Yeah, we're doing a 20 meter circle. In this particular ride, I just focus on doing circles, really 20 meter circles and 10 meter circles and a bit of sitting trot at the end, which you will see later on in the video. So after this circle, we just carry on going large to the bottom end of the school. You can see we're just trotting down to the bottom. Yep, so in this clip, 
I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing in this clip. I think I'm in this part of the video, I'm pretty sure I'm doing a 20 meter circle um, at B and E, because obviously we do them at the end of the school. You've got to make sure you do it in the middle as well to add a bit of variance. So here I am starting the circle at B, just coming round to E. Here we are, just trotting nicely. She was actually really well behaved, um, considering there were pigeons all over the school this day, trying to torment her. Usually she spooks at the pigeons, but she's actually really good. Um, she was a bit lazy to start with, actually. Um, but she was really, really good. And then we trot round to the other side of the school and do it from E to B. And then obviously back round to E as well. So we're just trotting round. On. Oh no, this is the exercise. Um, obviously I do my 20 meter circles at B and E. And then I do a 10 meter circle at A and C as well. Um, to obviously make it a bit different. If you hear noises, my dog is moving by though. She's sat right next to me, bloody licking the weirdo. So we are coming round back to, I think this side's E. Okay, I can never remember which side of the school is which, but you can legit hear my dog licking. It's so annoying. Yeah, so we're bending round uh, to B and then back to E again. Then we're just coming back round. And yeah. Okay, so I apologize for my dog licking, but here I am just finishing a 20 meter circle and asking for canter in this corner. So just sitting, asking for canter. Yeah, she goes into a nice transition. And now we just canter large to the bottom end of the school. Cantering, let's see the pigeons. And cantering. I'm pretty sure, do I do a 20 meter circle? Yep, of course. Cut the corner a bit short there, Brooke, but oh well. And here I am on the other rain cantering. And I'm pretty sure I do a circle at sea as well. Yep, circle at sea. Just cantering round. I didn't do many different exercises. I just focused on circles and stuff in this lesson because the left rein is Cherry's worst rein. I feel like she doesn't bend onto the track as much. So I tried to get her to bend on the track, but it didn't go successful. Um, so I decided to do a bit of sitting trot because I do like sitting trot and I need to um, strengthen my core and this really did hurt. So I actually went around the whole entire school doing sitting trot. So I did a 20 meter circle at each end of the school. So we're doing our 20 meter circle. I had already actually done one at the bottom, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, I hadn't. That's a lie. So we're just doing sit and trot. I actually quite enjoy sit and trot. All right, it makes my posture, makes me focus on my posture and sit deep. So we're just coming back round. Bless her, she's so cute. We're just keeping on coming round. Doing the nice sitting trot. And then I'm pretty sure I do a 20 meter circle at this end as well. Yeah, in this part of the clip I am um asking for canter again so canter in this corner yeah got it she is good bless her you wouldn't believe she's only like 14 one hands and i'm like five foot ten five foot eleven so funny to watch so um when you see me get off it you'll be like bloody hell because i do look quite tall next to her and i actually don't look too bad on so i tried to do a bit of light seat there but i was like no because i'm so crap at it but it's fine. And yep, and here we are, going to in a circle at the other end. Okay. And then coming back down into trot. And then again into walk at C. And then after this, we just called off. And here I am just giving Cherry some pats and strokes because she was such a good girl. She's super cute and she would, she just stood there because she was quite tired. Bless her. And she just wanted to go in. But she looked cute and it made a cute video as well. So I'm not going to complain. 
and then I, um, I speeded this video up so it doesn't, this clip wasn't so long, um, but it's just me um, putting my stirrup levers up, loosening my girth off and putting Cherry away. So you can see what now I'm stood next to her and off her. Look how small she is, bless her. But I, I don't mind. She She's super cute. The ponies are fun as well. Ponies are just super, super fun. And I'm glad I can still ride ponies. So yeah, I'm just walking her back in out of the arena. There we go. And she does get an itch at this point, so that is why she's not moving. <laughs> there we go. And then we're just walking her back into the barn. And here I am giving Cherry a treat after her lesson. These are just the Crunchits Equilibrium treats. And she really, really liked these, actually, because um, I got these in my Christmas haul. So I gave her one of them because she was so good. And then after that, um, I had finished everything I needed to do. So we left the yard and headed home. So, guys, I have finished up at the yard. Now we're back in the car on the way home. Excuse me, I feel like 